This is from Joseph L. Do you see cloud computing eventually phasing out the need for powerful personal computers, especially with rising costs of new hardware? My AI professor thinks it's going to happen real soon. Um, I don't. I don't think it's going to happen real soon. Uh, for the same reason that we, when we were just talking about the Logitech G Cloud, um, and it was like, Oh, what do you think about this having eSIM and stuff? Yeah, there's like power outages and, and uh, service availability issues. Um, I was just in America for four days. Your guys' internet sucks. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily want to be, at least where I was, it sure did. Sick um, burn. So I wouldn't necessarily want to be on a computer that at my current job and at very likely many of yours, uh, being consistently connected is required. Like mm -hmm. it, I can't, if there's... If there's a internet problem, if there's an internet outage, my computer can't just stop working. Like, yeah, I might be limited in what I can do because I don't have the internet, um, but it shouldn't just like end everything. And taking a computer that can, that is powerful, person, you know, powerful personal computer is what it said. Taking that and hot spotting it and limiting what you necessarily maybe maybe don't listen to streaming music while you're working for that amount of time or something but you can still function because a lot of it's happening locally is great and with cloud computing that's not so much of a thing yeah and i mean there's going to be i feel like we're we're headed towards a an increase in awareness of the fact that you just you nothing is permanent anymore um very recently, Project Cars 2, in fact, it might have been today, Project Cars 2 got delisted from Steam. And the reason for wow. that is not that they don't want to sell the game anymore or not that Steam is just tired of having it on their servers. It's that the licenses for the cars in the game have expired. And I guess it's not selling well enough to justify renewing it and the or or for the developer to go in and tweak all the names and tweak the appearances a little bit and like kind of remove those those assets and so now it's just gone unless you own it already and there's no way to acquire it anymore yeah. because it cannot be properly licensed for acquisition um because there are no physical copies so you can't buy it secondhand anymore and i think you know if you think about like a like a workstation where your hardware itself is a subscription service um, you are at the mercy of forces that you cannot control and in the case of most users do not fully understand to make sure that you have the tools you need to do your job. I mean, and especially with, okay, yes, at the high end, it's gotten ridiculous, but with the affordability of personal hardware at the low to mid range, that's what you're competing against. That's exactly the problem with the Logitech G Cloud or whatever. So you're going to have it. to make a cloud working station that is so much cheaper than just so having your cheap. own computer that it becomes worth it. But having to your own computer to a system is so cheap. Yeah. So it's tough. So these lines are going to have a hard time crossing. Um, I don't know. I, I don't personally think your AR, AI professor is correct, but uh, now I don't know. Hold on. I think there are industries and there are spaces. Oh, it's going to be a thing. Where that will happen faster. It's already a thing. Like, I don't yeah. think once we could get it down to like one frame of latency and if we could get the quality uh, a bit better, I don't see any reason why uh, like a video editing workstation couldn't be cloud based. Then you don't have to deal with updating and stuff. So another or like another... a development station. Oh, no, because then if your internet goes out. <sighs> another argument I'd throw yeah, out there. It's tough. I don't know. Is I I was working on a laptop this week, um, and I it was kept in very nice condition. Like the person who owned it very clearly cared about it. So I didn't actually realize how old it was. There was a there was a little uh, Windows. What was it? Windows 7 or Windows 8 sticker on it at a 4000 series Intel processor. I didn't even notice because I wasn't gaming on it. All I did was like document browsing, internet browsing, stuff like that. And it was completely fine. You know how much that laptop would cost? Like nothing. Yeah. You can get laptops on eBay for literally like 60 to $70. And you know what? The battery life, probably not great anymore. But if all you need to do, we, we actually have a, a video coming up on um, Chrome OS Flex. And so we talk about like how um, 
how tough it is to justify a brand new Chromebook when you can buy an ancient ThinkPad, put Chrome OS Flex on it, and let's go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? 